Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. Today in this lecture we will discuss about what is bar graph. Okay, so this is a different topic from the previous lectures which I told you about mean, median and mod. So in this uh, lecture I will discuss how to represent number of observations on a bar graph. Okay, so basically what is a bar graph? bar graph is a representation of numbers using bars of uniform width and the length of the bars depends upon the frequency and scale you have chosen so basically bar graph is a representation of numbers using bars so what is a bar like if I have to represent 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 these numbers on bar graph so I will take a scale of unit 1 this will represent 2, this will 3, this will 4, this will 5 so I will make a bar graph like this so this represents the quantity as 1 means if I say A equal 1, B equal 2, C equal 3, D equal 4 and E equal 5. So I will write A, B, C, D, E here. Okay. Let me write all this again. This is A, this is B, this is C, D, E. What is A? So A equal 1. Now I have to make B. So this will be B. Okay. The width of A and B should be same. Means using bar of equal uniform width. Okay. My drawing is not up to the scale level. So you might you might see that the width are not same, but it is same, students. Okay. So C should be three. I'm now drawing the C this is 3 similarly D4 and similarly E5 so you should choose the scale very clearly means if this is a scale of like 1 2 3 4 5 and if I am given like F G H I J equal 10 20 30 40 and 50 now you cannot choose the scale of 1 2 3 4 5 because it will go up to a very large extent now you will choose a scale of 10 so you will directly write here 10 20 30 40 and then 50 okay so it should be easy for you to draw bar graph if you uh, take a scale of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in that case then it will goes like higher vertical bumps okay this will show 10 again 20 will be very high 30 will uh, also be very high so you will end up uh, by doing nothing on a single page okay so choose your scale very wisely students okay by seeing the observations if the observations are like larger numbers 10 20 30 40 50 so you can choose a scale of 10 in that case if you want to choose a scale of 5 then it is, then it is also not incorrect but to draw 50 your scale will go up to a very large extent so it is up to you to choose the scale but choose the scale very wisely students let me give you one example based on this so students here is the question 
which states that a mathematics teachers teacher wants to see whether the new technique of teaching she applied after quarterly test was effective or not okay and she takes the score of five week students in the children in the quarterly test and in half yearly test so we have to draw a bar graph depicting the marks of five week students sorry so i'll write ashish here arun kavish maya rita okay so i have to choose the scale very wisely okay students the range i will see the range of the number it is going from 9 to 21 the highest number can i choose a scale of 3 yes i can choose a scale of 3 man 3 six, six, 9 12 15 and 21 now i will draw the quarterly and half yearly bar graphs of each of the student So first, I will take a different color to draw quarterly. For quarterly, I will choose red color. Okay. So for Ashish, quarterly match is ten. So ten will lie some one something here. So I can draw a bar graph of ten here. And for Arun, it is fifteen. So for Arun, the bar graph is like this. okay students my drawing is not that good so the lines are not that vertical okay so please bear that for kavish it should be 12 well. for maya it is 20 one less than 21 and for rita it is 9 again 9 so it should be here okay and what about half yearly let's take a color different for half yearly let me take this as a half yearly color okay so half yearly will be represented light blue okay and the quarterly was shown in red so half yearly for ashish will be 15 marks so i will show for ashish half yearly numbers are 15 and for arun it is 18 so i will draw this bar graph okay and for kavish it should be 16 one more than 15 and for kavya in sorry for maya it should be 21 and for rita it should be 15 so students in this manner you can draw a bar graph of any number of observations and you have to choose the scale very wisely students so that you should not mistake any mistake okay while uh, drawing a bar graph okay students i hope you are pretty clear about how to make a bar graph and if you still have any doubt or any issue with the bar graph please do comment in the comment section students i'll be happy to help you guys there Thank you students happy learning